we can also use the if else statement in the angular let's see how it works so here again we are using the same example and now if you want to use the if else so first let's start with the simple concept and let's say i have one more div and here i'm writing in the p tag this one now i want to display this particular data when this value is false or basically if it is true then i want to display this part if it is false then i want to display this part so there are two ways you can use one more ng if over here like ng if and here you can use the note symbol like this and you can see now that the second part is gone but now we are not using the if else statement we are simply using the ng if that is the if statement only now let's update this property and here this time i will be using false now you can see that the list is gone but we have this message i do not want to handle the situation by using multiple ng if i want to handle it by using the if and else for that first let's remove this part from here and here we have to use the template reference variable and for that let's write over here no record like this and now i want to use it over here so after your condition you have to put a semicolon then write else and then the name of your second template reference variable so no record over here save the changes here you can see that we are having an error it means we cannot use this else statement on the native ht1 elements in this situation we have to use one more element that is provided by the angular and the name of that element is ng template so here instead of having this div i have to use ng template and you can write your entire code inside this ng template we will learn more about this ng template in upcoming video but here just understand that this ng template is a kind of container or we can say a virtual container and we can wrap our content inside this particular ng template now what will happen if this expression is true then this particular part will be visible if it is false then this particular part will be visible now let's update its value so here instead of having this false this time let's use the true and immediately you will see that that message is gone we only have this particular list there is one more way to handle the situation now let's say i want to extract this particular part from here also like this and it is placed outside this particular div so here let's use one more ng template so here we are having this ng template and let's put our ent entire content over here now i want to display this particular part once the condition is true else i want to display this particular part so here let's use one more template reference variable record and this time here i have to use then and the name of my template reference variable save the changes this time you will notice that if the condition is true then this particular part will be placed over here and that is why we are having this list if its value is false then this particular part will be visible so here you can see that we are having the false value and now the list is gone we only have this message this is how you can use ng if and else and ng if then and else in your html template